So what happens when you feed your worms coffee grounds and cardboard? Let's find out, shall we? One of my farms that I've been doing this method in for quite some time is the hungry bin. And they really enjoy being in here, as you can see, them crawling along the surface to eat some of this food. Compost worms absolutely love to eat cardboard and they really enjoy eating coffee grounds. And when you combine the two together, you end up with a jam-packed, nutrient-dense worm casting. Worm castings are nature's answer to the organic solution. There are many theories on why they love it, but I think it's mostly due to it being that they are jam-packed full of nutrients. Coffee grounds contain approximately 2% nitrogen, 0.06% phosphorus, and 0.6% potassium by volume. They also contain macronutrients such as calcium, magnesium, boron, copper, iron, and zinc. The compost worm that seems to do the best in coffee cardboard is Isenia fetida. This worm can be recognised by its tiger stripes and yellow tail. It's also commonly known as the tiger worm and red wiggler. Just look how they love to move through this material and feel right at home. Coffee cardboard is suitable for all types of worm farms, large and small. Now the key is to not overdo it with your coffee and just slightly coat your cardboard so your farm doesn't get too acidic. You may also want to consider like a coffee slurry and just pour that over your cardboard from time to time. To balance out any acidity issues that you may have from overdoing it with coffee grounds is to get some crushed egg gel or some dolomite from your local store. You can also buy a worm farm conditioner and this works really great. By keeping your worm farm at nearly pH neutral, which worm castings are, you're going to stop little pest explosions. Like, look at this little mite cruising around here in the worm farm. Now, he's just on his own, but if we had a pH explosion, these guys could just take off like no tomorrow. So when you're using coffee cardboard, you're actually using nitrogen to carbon, and that's sort of a form of composting, and it does break down slowly over time. And when you're breaking down that carbon, these guys love to feed on that. Yes, your night crawler, these big lovely worms, they love to eat carbon. They will eat the coffee grounds and other things too, but carbon is their specialty. And when you start breaking it down and the bacteria starts breaking down that carbon, these guys come along the edges and eat that bacteria, yep, and turn it into, oh, a potent casting that your plants will absolutely love. Just look at this worm. He's a real beauty. So if you're looking for a new way to improve your worm farms, maybe ask at the local cafes if you can start taking their coffee grounds and start curing up your cardboard. And that way, you too can then start creating and making a worm casting just like this. Look how black and nutrient dense it is. This black gold will grow plants like you've never ever seen before. So before you go, check out the links in the descriptions, guys. There's lots of educational content for you there to help you learn how to farm worms like crazy. Yeah, exciting days. See you in the next video real soon. Bye for now.